Culture Editor at Harper's Bazaar. being the first day of fall today. And um, we are designing my own capsule collection, which is very exciting. Um, I've been working closely with the designers to create this line of clothing. Did you ever think you'd be a fashion designer? No, I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, standing on a battlefield with a bunch of, uh, with a bunch of Highlanders is, is quite a far cry from, yeah, from the world of fashion. But I think, you know, I grew up with Barber and it's, part of our heritage, part of Scottish heritage, um, and it feels like I've been welcomed by the family. Oh, we've all got the Barbara raincoat to keep us You do? Dry. Oh yeah, I, think yeah it's, nice. I feel like it's like, a, it's like something you have to have in your closet. I think so, you know, it's a great piece to have, and they last you know, for, for such a long time. Barbara has a great barber care policy where you can send your coat back and they'll re-wax it and, and, and you know, re-stitch it. And, um, yeah, they're just they're great pieces to have. So tell me what it means to you to be involved with such an iconic heritage brand like Barber. Yeah, they they really are uh, a great family of people. I was very lucky to go down to the, their um, workshops in South Shields in uh, the north of England. Um, I was there recently, actually, last weekend. I ran a half marathon there. Uh, and at the finish line, you actually reach South Shields, which is where Barber is situated. And you see the beacon. I don't know if there's a, a picture of one around here, but... It's the beacon, the, the lighthouse that they use um, on a lot of their branding, and, and I got to see that at the finishing line, so it was great. And I beat a few of the, uh, the barber team that were also running, so that was a, a result. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't even imagine running like a, like a 5K, so. It's, uh, <laughs> it was great, it was a great day out. And um, yeah, it was great to sort of see a lot of people there. And, uh, yeah, so I, I visited their showrooms, and, and they're just such a great brand. They're family. Family-owned business. Helen Barber and Dame Margaret um, were very, uh, very friendly and, and took me through their whole archive. They've got this secret room in Barber in South Shields where they have like jackets from like the 1900s. Oh wow! Um, you know, Barber's been going since 18, 1894, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, they have this whole collection of jackets which still you, know, you could wear today. Right. They're really fashionable, yeah, they have them, yeah. Yeah. which is tough. Years. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much of your day to day life would you say is spent wearing a kilt? Uh, how much of my day to day <laughs> life in my private time? <laughs> um, yeah, I wear the kilt on the show, Outlander, um, quite a bit. Season two, you'll have seen actually, um, there's some great costumes made by our amazing designer, Terry Dresser. She's wonderful. She is wonderful. I she love was Terry. recently nominated for. Emmy for her work, along with Gary Steele, who's a great production designer. You follow them both on Twitter if you want Outlander secrets. They are the best. <laughs> there is a little scoop for you there. Um, <laughs> Terry is, is a lot of fun uh, on Twitter. She's very engaging, and Gary as well. Posts a lot of behind the scenes stuff. We're currently shooting season three, so you'll probably get some sneak peeks of certain things. I know that there's a certain printing workshop being built at the moment. We just got a question from uh -oh. Sam. What are you most excited about in the new season? Oh, wow. Um, this season is, uh, 
Honestly, I think a really strong, it already feels that we've shot some really exciting stuff. I'm trying to talk around spoilers and not give anything away, <laughs> but I mean, Culloden, we've talked about it a lot. We all know that we've been shooting that. Um, it looks spectacular. Um, there's some great stuff in this book. Voyager is obviously the third book by Dana Gabaldon, and um, there's just so much, especially for my storyline. I think Jamie's storyline is, is really uh, exciting. To go through a lot before him and Claire are reunited. So I guess being reunited with his, his true love, his wife. Have you read all of Diana's books all the way through? Have you have you tried to I've read all of Diana's books? You've done it. Took it took me a year. Wow. It took me a year. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's so much material, isn't there? There is. I couldn't keep track of any of it. Yeah. Like I just keep going back and Is it like one of these things as soon as you finish it you have to start at the beginning again? Essentially. Well, she hasn't she actually published encyclopedias. Yeah. With like all of the characters' names, yeah. and it kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how she keeps, how she keeps there. track yeah. of it. But um, no, I try to read obviously everything that's relevant, mm -hmm. um, and I try to not get ahead of myself because I don't want to find out too much, even though I do have sneaky little looks and find out things. Um, I mean, I kind of know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, they're very helpful, especially, you know, the Scottish Prisoner, this season, um, Voyager, they're, they're, they're great books. There's so much material in them to read. They're really fun. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a scene that you're looking forward to, sh to shooting that you haven't shot yet, or that you've read in the books? Yes, and I can't tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, being reunited with Claire uh, would be a uh, very, it's a big moment. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, going to Jamaica and, and uh, America could be kind of fun. I mean, who doesn't want to go to the Caribbean? The season gets wild. It gets wild, yeah. There's <laughs> so much stuff involved. Yeah. Um, tell me, going back to season two for a second, which did you prefer wearing, the kilt or the beautiful suits in the French Quarter? Uh, absolutely the kilt. <laughs> Just the <laughs> beer? <laughs> absolutely the kilt. It's the best thing to keep you cool in the summer warm in the winter, it's very comfortable, uh, very easy to get into. They give me half an hour to get ready in the morning to my costume. I'm like, I can do that in five minutes. <laughs> so I always leave it to the last moment. Um, whereas the other costumes were spectacular by Terry, um, but they took hours to get into and hours to get out of. But I had a better uh, cat who, at least Claire, obviously, uh, just, she, I mean, she couldn't, she had to have a separate room to get Jamie because she mm -hmm. couldn't get in and out of her trailer. She had a separate bathroom. I'm not going to go into details there, <laughs> but uh, you know, three people dress her every right morning. So yeah, guys get it. Even with the, even in like the, the less extravagant looks, how many does she have to get she help with that? She has like corsets, <laughs> and bum rolls, and underdressing. It's no fun being a woman in that period. So, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Um, tell me, what was it like coming back from the first? Yeah, do you know, it's been a roller coaster. it's been so fast, it's like we never left. <clears throat> um, we were back shooting uh, a few weeks ago, and it just felt like we were back, the family was back together, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been really fun, it's, it's flying by, I can't believe we've already finished two episodes. Um, oh my god, you finished two episodes? We've finished two episodes already. Right? We've oh finished two episodes, yeah. Um, we are currently shooting the last few, few days, um, I finished my so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's great stuff. I'm really excited. And what's your favorite memory from shooting on the island of set to date? To date? Wow. Um, to be honest, it's to do with the people, I think. Um, we had a great cast the last couple of years, uh, and in particular all the Highlanders, Graham McTavish, Duncan Lacroix, Stephen, Grant, Gary, you know, all, the, all these great people. And so uh, it's, it's those days, you know, when we're all together on the Highlands, and it's just, a, it's a lot of fun. And my last question, what has surprised you most about the Outlanders from Amazon? The fans are crazy, <laughs> crazy good. There's fans at the moment outside of our store. They've been there since midnight. They're, they've been there since 4 a.m. sleeping, waiting to come and sit in a photo booth with me. So uh, I, hope we, I hope we, well, I hope we can get them all into the same photo booth. But I, I believe we've fed them some, some scones and coffee and, and water, so they're hydrating, which is good. 
Um, hopefully they're not drinking just yet, but you never know. What, um, was, what was your most surreal fan moment? Most surreal fan moment. Or like weirdest moment, like recognized on the street. Um, I, I think not the weirdest, but the most exciting was the last time I was here in New York. Mm -hmm. We did the Tartan Day Parade, uh, of which Barbara is uh, a platinum sponsor. And um, it was amazing. It was cold, it was wet, it was miserable, it was Scottish weather. Uh, and people came out and they were supporting us. And uh, the whole of Sixth Avenue was lined with tartan and Scotty dogs and pipes and, and uh, drummers. And so yeah, it was a really uh, a great day. I, I might have drunk a little bit of whiskey that day. Oh, yeah, only a little just bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was fun. We have another question um, from Jennifer. She says, Hi, do, you, Jennifer. do you enjoy representing your heritage? Kind of open-ended. Do I enjoy <laughs> representing my no, heritage? <laughs> of course. Of course I do. You know, I think uh, I grew up in the southwest of Scotland, um, in the same area that John Barber, who created Barber, is from, the same village. And so uh, it just feels like there's this great connection. And, uh, you know, I, I was born and raised in this um, castle grounds. Uh, it was a working farm there as well. And I remember the people that worked on the farm, our friends, our family, would have pieces of Barber pieces. Uh, I kind of can't believe I'm, I'm lucky enough to be working with them. Um, what's the biggest misconception Americans have about Scotland? What, what are your conceptions about Scotland? What, what are I mean, the, I don't really have any because okay. I visited Scotland. Oh yeah? Where did you go? I went to Edinburgh and then we did a tour through the Highlands. Nice. Well, at least I can say I've been there. Where did you go in the Highlands? It's just a quick bus tour. A quick bus tour? And I have to go back and actually, we went to Loch Ness, obviously. You did? Did you see Nessie? No, but I looked for her. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, a sighting recently, actually. Uh, I think there's photos as well. Yeah. Have you ever seen her? Have I ever seen <laughs> Nessie? Do you know I had a really good conversation with Diana about Nessie? Um, I've never seen Nessie. I think I might have seen Ogopogo, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> Who's that? that that's, uh, a, a that's Nessie's cousin that lives in Canada. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think I've seen her. So, um, yeah. No, Diana, obviously in the book, Claire. See something. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah we what? didn't shoot that. Um, maybe we will go back. It'll be a flashback. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's, it is very exciting. We more? have one more question. Any upcoming movie or, or acting roles we can watch for? Ooh, wow. That's from Vandna. Who? Vandna. Hi, Vandna. How are you? Um, I have had a couple of very exciting offers. Um, unfortunately, they haven't worked out just due to scheduling. Uh, our show is um, all-inclusive. We've just got two seasons uh, commissioned for Outlander. Um, so, you know, I think, yeah, if we can fit something in, obviously, that would be great. But at the moment, it's all Outlander. Um, yeah, so it's good. How long do you, are you on schedule to shoot season three? We're doing 11 months. We finish in um, May, end of May. Um, South Africa, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to be shooting there, and then season four will start not long after that. Well, Maybe we you could do a set visit. I would love that. Yeah, you've done Scotland. Why not South Africa? I could do that. I would like yeah. to see the Outlander set in Scotland. You should come and see it. I, I'm extending my invite to you. Okay. Yeah, all come, right, come with me. I'm holding you to it. Maybe next year. Okay. Are we all good? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in.